Next question is from Tones Verone. What are ways to mentally deal with the forever moving goalposts of your fitness goals and journey? Uh, no, I, I like this. This is a good, by the way, this is a, a, a transitory period that you get into when you're stuck, when you do fitness consistently long enough, right? At first, you're very motivated by the building more, burning more, stronger, improved performance. At some point, you can't possibly keep improving. At some point, you'll hit a limit, right? If there were no limits, I mean, by this point, I should be able to, you know, deadlift, you know, 8,000 pounds, right? Mm. There's always going to be limits. How do you keep yourself motivated when I'm not going to build that much more muscle? I'm not going to gain that much more strength. I'm not going to burn more body fat. You have to learn to enjoy the workout for the sake of the workout itself. You have to enjoy the process and, the, and, and being present. It's like the man who enjoys walking is going to walk much further than the, than the man who's walking to get to a particular point. Like if you just enjoy walking, yeah. you'll never stop. It's, it's the destination. Right? Yes, at some point. The journey, I should say. At, yeah, at some point, you have to just love doing it just for the sake of doing it and that'll keep you consistent i also forever. think the the, the the answer or the strategy to this is to change the walk yeah. instead of all change the goal you know i, I think we're, we're always so caught up in the this the aesthetics right what do i look like right or how strong am i it's mm -hmm. like man there's so many neat fitness goals health goals uh that you can pursue and i mean this at least you do this, this all the time there's a whole this, multitude yeah. of them out this there. is what I, I mean i i have i found this uh, early on and i love to do this i and i switch in fact if anything i have a habit of like a oh, new goal and i do it for a while and i'm like oh, i'm already ready for a new goal and i change change it a lot instead of like probably sticking with something long enough but that's also what keeps me interested mm -hmm. is I might go on a kick, let's say for three months and I want to get as good as Justin or as close as I can get as good as him as swinging a mace bell. And that in itself, there is a lot that goes into that. It's not simply just watching him swing it and then going and doing it every single workout. There's a lot of work I have to put into yeah. to be able to get to that ability to do that. And that's a simple goal. Or I want to watch my Turkish get up go from 40 pounds to 100 pounds. Or I do. I, now I want to build all this muscle. Or I want to get faster. Or I want to build stamina. Like... I just think that it's, and I think all of that is great. It's are all great pursuits. And so instead of always getting focused on how strong are you or what do you look like, try try changing the journey, try changing the path. Try Instead of always moving the goalpost further away, try going for a whole different goal. Change the I goalpost. totally agree. That was the, the direction I was going to go. It's just like, dude, there's just so many different um you know, modalities out there. There's so many different types of skills that you can acquire, you know, along this journey. It's not just build muscle, burn fat. I know that's what draws people in and that's what's the most popular. And this is what I used to struggle with so much, uh, you know, as a trainer, because I, I'm trying to voice that there's so many other pursuits within this, um, you know, th this industry uh, that could benefit you on so many different levels, like just oh, the overall quality uh, and articulation of your job joints, the joint health, yeah. like mobility, uh, learning something like yoga in order to then provide peace and calm and meditation in your life that you're probably lacking uh, by pursuing these goals so aggressively for so long, you know, maybe doing completely the opposite of what you've been doing is going to benefit. So you're not going to know that until you really start step into that realm oh and what's awesome and at least what's happened for me is every time i pursue one of these new goals i learn something new about myself or i learn something new about training that way that ends up carrying and benefiting something somewhere else for example yeah uh, the pursuit of the deadlift thing for me, like getting really strong at the deadlift, was purely out of like competition with Sal. It's like, oh, we just started hanging out around that time. These guys were strong in the squat and deadlift. I never even once focused. That was never a goal of mine. I'm like, okay, I'm going to make it a goal. How how strong can I get in the deadlift? While I did it, I had this crazy side effect. I built the best back that I've, I've ever had. That wasn't even the goal. Yeah. The goal was just to catch Sal in the deadlift. Now, along the way, I got this great side effect. Same thing happened when I won the mobility kick. Mm -hmm. I was so frustrated that I had this chronic low 
low back pain and that I couldn't break 90 degrees without my heels coming off. And I, and I lacked the ankle mobility and the hip mobility. And I remember Dr. Brink breaking me down and I was like, man, I didn't realize how much I suck. And I was like, oh, I want to get really good at this. What ended up happening as a side effect, I ended up getting this incredibly deep squat. I can now squat less weight and I have the same or better development in my legs than what I had when I was squatting significantly more than that. Yeah. So when you start pursuing these different goals, a lot of times you start to learn some new things about your body or you see how much it ends up carrying over into another goal yeah. that you may want no, to pursue. That's a, you guys make great points because I think people, and by the way, if you'll what you'll notice that Justin and Adam just said were all kinds of different goals. I think sometimes people get stuck in the the basic goals. Uh, get leaner, build more, get stronger, get faster. Those are all goals, but you can you can really narrow down to very specifics. Like, I just learned this new exercise. I want to get good at it. Mm -hmm. Or I want to work out with more stamina. Or I want to see if I can work out with lighter weight and get a better pump. Like you could create lots of small, and there's literally an infinite number of goals yeah. you can you can create for yourself. But I do, again, I want to make the point, like if you enjoy exercise for the sake of it, you'll never stop. You know, For me, it's extremely meditative. So it, it doesn't matter if I'm strong. It doesn't matter if I'm weak. It doesn't matter if, if, you know, what's going on in my life. I've had terrible things happen. And then my workouts become a way to, help myself process. It's, you know, I've been through times when my body feels great and strong. Now I'm training completely differently. It's a tool and it, it'll benefit you and it can be molded to benefit you and improve your quality of life and in a, a, a tremendous amounts of ways. And when you do that, it's like, it's something. And I remember I learned this from some of my old members, like they would come in and work out. And I remember, how did you stay so consistent? Like, well, it's just, it makes my life better and it really doesn't matter. I'm always going to do something. And I think that's a good place to be because at some point you get older and your performance is going to decline. You're, you could be the absolute most fit person, most consistent person, but at some point you're going to end up losing strength no matter what you do. You're going to lose endurance no matter what you do. How the hell could you possibly stay motivated at that point? It's because it's something that improves the quality of life of your life, regardless. You know, along those lines, if you've never, if you haven't gone through the webinar that Justin did for Prime, so MapsPrimeWebinar.com, it's free. Watch it. He takes you through the three tests. Sal talking about uh, training to enjoy the process and being more meditative and feeling better. Like, when was the last time you ever built a routine around literally all the things that your body needs to feel better? Forget getting super strong or buff or rip. Like, when, and I used to love doing this where do go through an assessment right there, find all your imbalances on your body. And then what the way you build the, the routine is around like the fortification sessions. It's all around things that is going to improve your posture, yeah. improve your health, and make you feel better. So you walk out of the gym and it's not like those workouts where you feel taxed and you're broken and you're sweating and you're like, oh my God, I'll be so sore the next day. You walk out of the gym and you're like, whoa. I feel so good. Like I've never felt that good before because I've switched my mentality of the way I'm training right now. So another great pursuit, if that's all you're looking for, is to, to feel better. I agree.